Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, the guy that went all in already seven years ago. Yes, selling the house and bam, all in. Now, today I have a very important video. Yes, I have some charts at the end. You will love those charts, but the most important part will be in the beginning of this video, and that will be about that this could be the last chance for you to enter Bitcoin at a very cheap price and still enjoy a very explosive bull run because it could be that the next couple of bull runs will be way less explosive and i'm going to talk about why i think that could be the case uh, in my honest opinion so enjoy the complete video give it already a thumbs up and use the links down below to buy bitcoin bam now to make my case, I'm going to talk about um, the way at the moment it works. People always ask me, Didi, how is it possible that Bitcoin goes up and down in certain moments that we always crash 70% after a bull market into a bear market? In my honest opinion, honest opinion, um, the reason for this is that there is two big players in the market uh, that do determine when they dump their Bitcoins into the market. I'm talking about the Bitcoin miners and I'm talking about the exchanges because the Bitcoin miners since 2020's halving are mining 900 Bitcoins a day and they can dump 900 Bitcoins a day into the market, which they don't. But I will come back to that later. And then we have the exchanges that we all trade on, like for example, Bybit. If you want to trade on Bybit, use the link down below. Um, they earn fees because we use the exchange. And with those fees, of course, they pay their employees, the rent of the buildings and all the other overhead costs. But the rest of the fees that's in Bitcoin, they need to dump into the market as well. So around 2020, in total, this was about 2000 Bitcoins that could be dumped into the market daily. 900 through the miners and around 1100 through the exchanges combined total in fees. So that's 2,000 Bitcoins a day, and they're not dumping that daily, they are hodling that as well. So for example, the miners, they need to play that game every cycle again. They can only sell the Bitcoins when they are in profit, in the bull market top. Then they take a shitload of profit by um, selling the Bitcoins that they've been collecting the previous years before that. And they sell them then because that will give them the most profit and will make them survive the bear market. Because always remember, a Bitcoin miner has overhead costs, has employees, has a building, has machines, uh, needs to buy new miners, uh, uh, has the electricity bill, all the stuff, all the costs the miners have always continue. No matter how many Bitcoins they mine, they will have a fixed amount of cost every month. So the moment the halving comes, 2024 April now, instead of 900 Bitcoins a day, they will be earning only 450 Bitcoins a day and always only being able also to dump those 415 Bitcoins a day into the market. But what happens when these miners still have the same amount of fixed cost every month, but now only have half of the revenue because from 900 Bitcoins, now only 450 Bitcoins. The thing what happens then is that Bitcoin needs to double in price for them to break even. So that is why I believe Bitcoin always, after the halving, uh, doubles in price minimally because that will make the miners uh, run break even or have profit again. And then all the way into the bull market top, that is when the miners start to dump their Bitcoins. Because they collect their Bitcoins, they hold all their Bitcoins, that's how um, the scarcity of the Bitcoins, there's not enough Bitcoins to buy in the market, the market dries up. And because it dries up and the demand grows uh, naturally through uh, the bull market, um, there's more demand than there is offer. And then when the market goes into a top, the miners start to sell to take a shitload of profit and to be able to survive the two year bear market. I think the exchanges do the same. Of course, they do sell a little bit of Bitcoin uh, during the bear market year as well because they need to pay for the cost. But I think in general, these still have a big influence into the market, okay? And they will still have a big influence this bull run because it's still 900 Bitcoins and from April 2024, it's less Bitcoins, it's 450 Bitcoins. So I believe this bull run is still a Bitcoin bull run where you can buy Bitcoin uh, below 30K. You should have bought around 16K, of course, 
uh, then you already doubled your money. But even now buying a 30K, I believe we could go to 100K, 150K, maybe even 200K when it's a really explosive uh, single top like we had, for example, in 2017. We could take it to those levels, which means, yes, Bitcoin could still go times uh, five, six or seven. But after this halving, the miners only make 450 Bitcoins. And then after that halving, the miners will only make 250 Bitcoins a day. And then after that, the next halving, the miners will only be making 125 Bitcoins a day. Yes, the Bitcoin price will go up. And the Bitcoin price, in my opinion, in the end, somewhere around 2030, will be between 500k and a million dollars per Bitcoin. So the miners will still be making profit, but they have less Bitcoins to dump into the market. Same will be for the exchanges, because we have seen in the last couple of months that people are withdrawing their Bitcoins from the exchanges. People are getting smarter. There are more DEX uh, protocols, decentralized exchange protocols, where you connect your wallet into a protocol, like Apex, the one I really love. So you connect your wallet so the exchange doesn't hold your, uh, your Bitcoins. You hold your Bitcoins in your wallet and connect it to an exchange. So this evolution of technology um, is making it possible for people to withdraw their Bitcoins more and more from these exchanges. So these exchanges also have less Bitcoins to sell in the future. So the miners will have less Bitcoins to sell in the future and the exchanges will have less Bitcoins to sell in the future. So now the question is, who will have all those Bitcoins to sell in the future? And that is all depending on you and me. It could be you, me, and all the millions of friends all around the world that buy Bitcoin now. But if we don't buy it, then I can tell you who that will be. That will be the ETFs like BlackRock or the European banks or any other institute that will offer Bitcoins. Because they are buying up all our Bitcoins. And they will buy up all the Bitcoins because they have a lot of money to buy Bitcoins. And they know how to manipulate the market. And they want to take Bitcoin to the next level, which is, an, which is an institutional level, which is taking the power away again from the normal people into the hand of the rich. And that is exactly the game that is happening at the moment. So yes, this bull run, man, it can be a beautiful emotional bull run. You should be buying Bitcoin now and we can still pump it uh, as a community and because of the retail investor FOMO. But the more Bitcoins will get in the hands of BlackRock and all these investment funds, they will understand that they have the complete capacity of manipulating the price because there's only 21 million Bitcoin and the last Bitcoin will be mined to the year 2140. And they don't need these explosive growths. They need stable growths for their investors. So even if it's only 5% a year, the investors would be happy. So those are now trying to buy all our Bitcoins. That is what's happening. And we can see the whole Bitcoin community cheering. Yay! BlackRock entered the market. Yay! European Union also has an ETF. Yay! The rich people now can start to buy Bitcoin in a legal way and make it impossible for the normal people to buy it. Because that's the second thing that's happening that you maybe not realize, but in the United States, for example, Binance, can sell, Binance cannot sell Bitcoins anymore. Uh, yeah, FTX, <laughs> they stop selling Bitcoins. Uh, the United States people don't have that simple access to Bitcoins as we in Europe still have, but Europe is going down as well because Binance is not selling in the Netherlands as well anymore. So the normal people, for them, the chance to buy Bitcoin is being like destroyed completely because those exchanges are not um, registered entities that are fully licensed like a bank. So yeah, the normal people won't be able to buy it, but who is able to buy it? the big ones, the institutional investors, the Black Rocks, um, all those international funds, um, you know, that have the money uh, of the rich people. So the rich will be gaining rich, richer and the poor, again, poorer because they are not watching my videos. So now, now that that is all clear, you need to understand that this bull market is still a bull market that you can really make shitloads of profits. That's what I told my brother and my sister as well, one half year ago in Mexico. This is the last chance for you guys to really make some profit. To turn 300k, for example, into a million or one and a half million. After that, there will be more Bitcoins in the hands of institutional investors than there will be in the hands of the exchanges. And yes, the exchanges will still be making profits, 
because the Bitcoin price will be increasing. And a huge part of the exchanges is already owned by BlackRock, etc. But those institutional investors, they are buying, all, uh, buying up all the Bitcoins. So at the end, they start to regulate the market because they will have the capacity of dumping more Bitcoins daily on the market than these exchanges have. Because the exchanges still earn 900 now, then 450, then 225, then 112 per day. But the Blackrocks, they are buying up all these Bitcoins and they might have, like this micro strategy, 100,000 Bitcoins or more than a few hundred thousand Bitcoins. So they will be able to dump more Bitcoins into the market than the exchanges daily uh, can at the moment and will be able to do in the future. So I hope that was a little bit clear. I should have made this video maybe behind my laptop, but uh, I don't like to be behind my laptop when the weather is so beautiful as today here in the Algarve. I think it's very important, again, for you to now jump on this Bitcoin rocket, because this is the last rocket that uh, you can jump on, I think, before the rocket will slowly go into a normal airplane, into a high-speed train, and from there into some really stable vehicle that just brings a certain return on investment to very rich people. And it's not negative, because we always knew that Bitcoin would get less volatile in the future, but we always thought it would get less volatile because we all um, bought the Bitcoins with the normal people and started to share these Bitcoins with the normal people peer-to-peer -peer by using Bitcoin as a sort of cash, a peer-to-peer -peer cash. If one billion people own a little bit of Bitcoin, it's of course better decentralized than if like three huge investment funds own the same amount of Bitcoin. You understand what I'm saying? Now, that was the first part of the video. Now I'm gonna jump into some amazing charts that you will need to see because they show you exactly what I'm saying, but also some really cool stuff uh, that is now happening to Bitcoin. Bam. The first chart, guys, I'm gonna show you is this one, the Meyer multiple, uh, the Bitcoin price divided by the 200 day moving average. And the higher the number is, the higher the bubble is. The, so the higher the Meyer multiple is, um, the more close you are to selling your Bitcoins. Now we can see on the chart now that we are at 1.09, which is not that high. We can always go to 2.4 levels, which so is here at the left side on the chart. At the moment we get near to these 2.4 uh, um, levels, that is the moment there is a bubble. That doesn't mean that it's a bull market top, because if you look to the left, 2019 to 2020, the red line went all the way up to 2.4 levels, but that was the run from 3 to 14K. Then we returned back to the bottom and from there we went into the bull market top where the line went above the 2.4 level. Now, now at the moment we are at 1.09 and we can still go to 2.4 level in between and then come back for example and then have that massive bull in 2025 like I've been telling you like for months already. Now, very interesting chart. Pause the video if you want to um, research it a little bit more. On this second chart, guys, you can see how the Bollinger Bands always have an influence on the Bitcoin price. When the Bollinger Band uh, contracts so becomes really tight, that's the moment that the Bitcoin price is about to do an explosive move. So you can see now in the bottom, for example, um, the BB w uh, which is that red line and we see the vertical white dotted lines every time with that vertical dotted line there this is when the bollinger band is very tight and you can see that the red line is then touching the bottom and that is a moment when you see these green arrows appearing and we have a huge run so we had that in 2015 16 17 we had that now lately in 2021 and 22 and now we can see the same thing happening again but i have never seen the bollinger band at as tight as it is now it's like really close to each other the two lines and that means yes the red line is going almost lower than it normally goes which means there will be an explosive move guys and i believe that explosive move will be all the way up to, for example, 37 to 38K, which I've been saying already for a long time. So for me, that is the move that I'm waiting for, for Bitcoin to do. Now, then we have this chart, also very important one, chart. Uh, on this chart, you can see, this is a day chart, that the Bitcoin uh, uh, falling wedge and the RSI combination is always a beautiful indicator um, to determine when to enter a market or not. Now, if you look at the chart now, 
would that be the moment for you to enter the market? That's the biggest question. In my honest opinion, yes. Because if you look to the chart, we have the falling wedge already, um, the first one on the left side of the chart. We had the falling wedge, we had the RSI touching the green line, and bam, we had an explosive move. Now, then we have the second one, also falling wedge, also beautiful that line touching the green line, we had a huge move. And now again, we can see this the third time happening. We see the falling wedge, we see the white line touching the green line. This is the moment for me to enter the market. This is still the moment that is telling me, yes, we could make a massive move combined with the chart I showed you before, all the way up to the 37 to 38K levels, guys. It's a very imp impressive chart um, and the combination, if you, if you analyze them both, pause the videos, you will understand exactly what I'm saying. Now, this chart is also very cool. You can zoom out. I found this one on Twitter. I think it's uh, Aurelian uh, or Hyen that uh, posted that chart. On that chart, you can see beautiful um, the last bull runs combined, guys. So you can... Good morning. <laughs> so, you... <laughs> so you can see the 2011, 12, 13, 14 uh, run. Um, you can see the 2014, 15, 16, 17 run. You can see the 2018, 19, 20, 21 run. Um, and you can now see that we have 2022, the red market. 2023, that's the pre bull. Then 2024, that will be the first bull, like a slight increase. And 2025 will be the second bull. And after that, 2026 will be the bear market again. That is how it's gonna play out every time again. So I don't believe in a 2023 bull run. I don't believe in a 2024 massive bull run. I believe that the four-year cycle will do again what it's always doing. So you should be buying in now because then you can enjoy the 2024 and the 2025 bull run guys now i hope you really enjoyed this beautiful sunday morning video all the information all the charts if you did enjoy the video then please give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts and the, about the information i gave you that this could be the last massive bull run you can still join let me know down below thanks for watching wish you an amazing sunday and see you tomorrow again Bam.